nestled on the Koramandal coast, lies the breathtaking expanse in Tamil Nadu, a state which boasts of 16 Ramsar sites, highest than any other. The first to be established and the second largest site, sprawling across 385 square kilometers, a wetland of international importance, a haven for biodiversity, a cradle of ancient culture. This is Point Calimere. See, regarding the uniqueness, if you take the Point Calimere Wildlife Sanctuary itself, within 2000 hectare area, you have a tropical dry evergreen patch of forest, then you have beautiful coastal grasslands, and it ends at the beach or uh, mud flats. So within a small uh, 2000 hectare patch, having three ecosystems is unique. Then if you take the entire uh, Point Calimar Ramsar site also, then we have two big lagoons in the site. Then in between various river channels are there. In between that a lot of dry lands are there. But once rainy season comes, all this diversity is gone away. The entire two districts, the entire patch of uh, uh, Point Calimar Ramsar site becomes one uh, composite wetland. At Point Calimar, nature thrives in abundance. Manifested in the wetlands, the grasslands and the forests, this serene ecosystem is home to an array of fascinating creatures. Each one of them a reminder of the delicate dance of nature. The flight of migratory waterbirds paints the sky with vibrant hues. Point Calamere is a sanctuary for over 250 avian species, each with its own unique story to tell. From the elegant flamingos wading through shallow waters to the elusive crow pheasant. Through the dense foliage, one can find the majestic black buck roaming the heart of the wilderness. Every leaf and creature embodies resilience and adaptation, each a testament to nature's melody in this pristine habitat. Life doesn't just thrive in the light, but in the dark as well. The vulnerable Olive Ridley turtle's journey is a tough one. The creatures of night know very well that danger never sleeps. Predators like the wild boar prowl the shores in search of their eggs and sometimes they find them. Now, nature might have drawn the Olive Ridley a few vulnerable cards, but at Point Calamere, Natation stands as their steadfast ally. For over four decades now, Natation has been equating the chances that this species loses to marine pollution and other threats, making sure year after year these eggs are safely taken to the hatchery developed by the forest department. And so, the cycle continues. Post-incubation, the hatchlings emerge tiny warriors ready to embark on their journey. With each minuscule step, they crawl through the sand, their determination unwavering. And as they reach the water's edge, they vanish into the vast expanse of the sea. Beyond the breathtaking landscapes and diverse wildlife, for generations, Point Calamere has served as a refuge for the local human communities. Here, Life and livelihood are woven with the rhythm of the wetlands. Tradition and necessity intertwine as people engage in practices that have sustained them for centuries. Fishing, salt production and agriculture form the mainstay of their livelihoods. Each activity deeply entwined with the health and vitality of the wetlands that sustain them. The rhythmic clapping of water against wooden hulls is a familiar sound at Point Calamere. Fishing has been the lifeblood of these communities for centuries. Witness the practiced hands of fishers, their movements honed by years of experience as they cast nets into the labyrinthine canals. Their catch not only fills their nets, but also feeds their families and sustains their way of life. These fishing canals sneaking through the mangroves are their hunting grounds. 
கிட்டத்தட்ட நான் இந்த மீன் பிடிங்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு இரநூறு ஆண்டு காலத்துக்கு முன்னாடி எங்கள் தாத்தா முப்பாட்டம் காலத்திலேருந்து மீன் பிடிச்சிட்டு வரோம் இங்கே வாய்க்காலில் மீன் பிடிக்கிறது வாய்க்காலில் மால் பறி போட்டு சார் வச்சு மீன் பிடிக்கிறது அப்புறம் மால் அடித்து மீன் பிடிக்கிறது அப்புறம் கடலில் போயிட்டு இந்த தொழில் வந்து எங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஏழு எட்டு மாதம் வரும் பாக்கி நாலு மாதத்துக்கும் கடல் ஓரத்தில் கடலில் மீன் பிடிக்கிறது ஊருக்குள்ள வந்து பொம்பளைங்க வந்து விவசாய கூலி இந்த மாதிரி நடவு இந்த கருத்தறுப்பு இந்த மாதிரி போகிற வேலை பார்க்குறாங்க விவசாய கூலி பார்க்குறாங்க At the fringes of the Point Calamere wetlands, agriculture thrives. Lush green fields, nourished by rain and irrigation, provide fertile grounds for cultivation. Complementing the traditional fishing practices is aquaculture and shrimp farming, providing an additional source of income for some communities. These glistening checkerboard-like patterns are another testament to the deep connection between the people and Point Calamere. The age-old process of salt production, passed down through generations, is another key livelihood for the locals. Seawater is channeled into these pans where the natural process of evaporation, aided by the scorching sun and dry winds, leaves behind pure white salt. This white gold is then carefully gathered a reminder of the ornate link between human needs and the ever providing nature amidst the verdant landscapes and shimmering wetlands we find point calamere as a land steeped in cultural significance and tradition as well behold the awe inspiring shri kodi kulhar koyal temple a monument that testifies the architectural prowess of ancient Indians. This temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva, is a focal point for the local community, a place where prayers are offered and age-old traditions are kept alive. It is not only temples that hold sway over the hearts of the faithful. At Ramar Patham, the footprint of Lord Ram himself serves as a sacred reminder of the timeless epic. Nestled in the Point Calamere is another ancient tale, Modi Mandapam, a shrine forged in folklore, the lore of Lord Vedaraneswarar himself. This structure once stood tall as the subliming Chola Lighthouse, a historical landmark that stands sentinel over the coastline, a silent reminder of the great Chola dynasty that ruled South India for centuries. Seek spiritual solace at the Avu Lagani Darga, a revered Sufi shrine. In the shadows of these ancient monuments, the past meets the present, and the soul finds solace as the culture, heritage, and spirit of Point Calamere lives on. Point Calamere, where every corner tells a story and every site is a feast for the senses, the tranquil waters of Muniapan Lake serves as one of the largest freshwater habitats available for the migratory birds. Visitors can immerse themselves in the beauty of nature, the gentle cradle of the waves and the rustle of the leaves. Muttupet Lagoon and Mangroves beckons with its promise of discovery. Step aboard a boat and set sail across its serene waters. Point Calamere is a paradise for ornithologists and nature enthusiasts alike. The mangrove forests and lush lagoons are safe haven for multiple species of birds and medicinal plants. And as one glides through the narrow channels, keeping the eyes peeled for rare and elusive wildlife is suggested. But the season is not going to be able to see the birds. Now, the year is going to be able to see the birds and the birds. The birds are going to be able to see the birds and the birds. சைக்ளோன் வந்தாலும் எல்லாத்துலேயும் இந்த தில்லை அலையாத்தி சுரப்புண்ணைன்னு சொல்கிறாங்க இந்த மாதிரியெல்லாம் நல்ல முறையில் வளர்ந்து இந்த பகுதியை காப்பாற்றுது இயற்கையை காப்பாற்றுது பொதுமக்கள் இங்கே வந்தால் ஒரு ஒரு மணி நேரமோ ரெண்டு மணி நேரமோ இருந்து மன நிம்மதியை கழிக்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு நல்ல இயற்கை தந்த வரம் இட்ஸ் நாட் ஜஸ்ட் த நேச்சுரல் பியூட்டி தட் ட்ராஸ் விசிட்டர்ஸ் டு பாயிண்ட் கேலமே அட் த வேதராணியம் சால்ட் மெமோரியல் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி கம்ஸ் லைஃப் அஸ் த ஸ்டோரிஸ் ஆஃப் சத்யகிரா மூவ்மெண்ட் echo through these walls here amidst the salty air and the sound of crashing waves you can't help but feel a sense of reverence for those who fought for freedom to extend any exploration 
one must venture beyond the immediate. The Serutulai Kadu Lagoon and Mud Flats, famous for migratory bird spotting, offer an opportunity for unique wildlife experiences. Whereas, the new lighthouse provides a breathtaking panoramic view of the coastline and surrounding landscape. But amid the nature and scenery, threats loom large, casting shadows on the unblemished beauty of Point Calame. Siltation, the accumulation of sediment, clogs waterways and smothers vegetation. Whereas salinization, the increase in salt content, threatens the diaphanous balance of the crucial freshwater sources. Another threat emerges in the form of invasive species, Prosopis huliflora, a fast-growing insidious vegetation that has aggressively spread across the landscape. Its dense network of roots disrupts the water table and outcompetes native plants, jeopardizing the biodiversity of this Ramsar site. Unregulated animal grazing disrupts the natural ecosystem, creating ideal conditions for propagation of this undesired flora. In response to these challenges, collaborative efforts are underway to maintain the delicate balance of Point Calame. GIZ, alongside the Tamil Nadu State Wetland Authority, spearheads an integrated management plan to safeguard this precious wetland. This plan, developed in a participatory manner, reflects a common understanding of various stakeholders, including local communities and the government on the significant threats and management purpose. Through capacity development programs facilitated by the Forest Academy, stakeholders are equipped with the skills needed for effective wetland management. This fosters awareness and strengthens the collective resolve to protect the site. இது வந்து அவங்களுக்கு இது இதை எடுத்து சொல்கிற வகையில் வந்து அவங்களுக்கு தேவையான விஷயங்களை வந்து இங்கே இருக்க ரிசோர்ஸஸ் எடுத்து அவங்களுக்கு சொல்லணும் அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் வந்து அவங்கள்ட்ட வந்து வெறும் வாய்மொழியாக சொல்கிறத விட டாக்குமெண்டேஷன் பண்ணி ஒரு வீடியோவோ ஒரு ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபியாவோ வந்து அவங்கள்ட்ட அடிஷ்னலி GIZ, in collaboration with organizations such as Dhan Foundation, endeavors to enhance sustainable livelihoods. vital for the region's recovery during the COVID-19 pandemic. Green recovery activities supported implementation of livelihood-oriented conservation and restoration activities and training of community members in alternative sustainable livelihoods. After this 2018 Gaja cyclones, those mangroves, forests, everything got destroyed, even the creeks got silted. After that, community doesn't have much livelihood, so they couldn't uh, renovate those things. So, Don held involved. We have renovated nearly 110 canals with the community supports. Also, we have planted the mangrove saplings in the renovated creeks. Over 7 lakh seeds were planted in that. And uh, the growth was very good after the inflow and outflow of the waters. Due to this uh, coastal area, the salination level was very high in the pond, everything. So, community has faced a lot of issues with the scarcity of the fresh waters. So, With the Dawn Foundation supports and with the support of GIZ, we have renovated 28 ponds in this uh, Pine Calimer region. Complementing these initiatives is the participatory video training program, empowering local youth with essential videography skills. Their first-hand knowledge and documented observations serve as invaluable tools in the ongoing conservation efforts for Point Calimer. In the serene expanse at Point Calimer, Every droplet of water, every gust of wind weaving through the lush foliage reveals the intricate relationship amongst all life forms. Yet, here lies a critical juncture where the fate or destiny of this invaluable ecosystem hangs on a precarious edge. The endeavor to protect it extends far beyond the shores of this Ramsar site. Merely the act of sharing the splendors of Point Calame to the wider world could hold the key to securing its future. Because even the smallest of actions hold the power to create a ripple of change.